Hey guys, let's talk about the difference between a debt and a judgment. And let me tell you why this matters. People will contact me and say, Hey John, statute of limitations is six years and I've got this debt collector or this collection lawyer trying to collect a debt from eight years ago. Don't I have a great statute of limitation defense? And we always have to say, well, tell us what's going on. And sometimes people... And I understand they, they're sort of frustrated. Like, I just want the answer. I'm like, no, I need to know, is there a judgment against you or is this just a debt? They go, oh, well, yeah, there's a judgment from five years ago. Well, that makes a huge difference, okay? So a debt is just something where a debt collector says you owe the money, but no court has blessed it. So with a debt, they cannot garnish your wages, cannot garnish your bank account, can't put a lien on your property, can't sell your property. It's just a debt. They allege you owe it. Okay, But now if they sue you and they get a judgment, now a judge says that you owe it. And we're not talking about statute of limitation when it comes to a judgment. A judgment is just, it's a piece of paper that says you owe $10,000 and it makes a certain amount of interest every year after that. And they can take that, garnish wages, bank accounts, liens on property, even do a, what's called a sheriff sell to sell your property. And so there's a huge difference between a debt and a judgment. Now, a judgment, in essence, is a type of debt, okay? But you always want to ask yourself, okay, you know, you get this letter on this old, old debt, or you get a phone call on an old debt and say, First question is, is this just a debt or is it a judgment? Two totally, completely different things, okay? And then you can, you know, sort of make the, the best decisions after that. I mean, if it's a judgment and you don't remember the judgment, say, well, let's go look it up. When was the judgment? All right, and then you sort of back up from that and say, well, when did they say I was served? And how do they say I was served? And we have a recent video on this about if there's a judgment against you, is it too late to do something? Well, probably not. I mean, you need to check your own state. I practice in Alabama. And if you weren't properly served, we can attack a judgment really anytime. So if it's a judgment, you want to know if it's just a debt, well, is it outside statute of limitation? Can they credit report? Because with a debt, you might just send a dispute letter. You might just send a cease and desist letter if it's too old for them to see. But if it's a judgment, you've got to take the right action to either resolve that judgment, maybe you need to settle it, maybe you can attack the judgment. So big difference in just a debt and an actual judgment, which is a debt that's been reduced or created into an order by a judge that says, you owe this money. Okay? And normally with the judgment, it's too late to go back and argue about, well, I really don't owe that money, or the judge neglected to look at a piece of evidence. I mean, once there's a judgment, that's pretty much final. So I hope that this is helpful to you, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.